Hey, Pastor Ray here. Thanks so much for watching Weekly Word each week. I appreciate that, and I hope that you'll share it with somebody. Remember, we've got a great song at the end that I, as I watch it, just kind of sticks in my mind and my heart that I can sing to the Lord uh, on the day I watch, but also just throughout the week. Uh, you know, the Bible uh, tells us that God's Word uh, is uh, quick, living, and active working in our lives. Hebrews says that the Word of God is living and active. You ever wondered why it is that God gave us His Word? Why did God give us what you and I call the Bible that has within it the Word of God and God reveals Himself to us? You know, did He give it to us just to make us smarter? just to give us a lot of head knowledge, just so that we would have the answers when we've got to fill in the blank in the small group guide, or when we've got to fill in the blanks uh, on the sermon when it's being preached, or so we can know a lot more and have a lot of head knowledge and know a lot of facts. You know, if you hang around church long enough, you can get pretty smart about the Bible. But just because you and I are smarter doesn't mean that God's Word is really making a difference in our lives because all of us have known people that were really smart about the Bible, but on the inside, we're still angry, grumpy, and less than what God would want them to be. No, God did not give us His Word to make us smarter. God gave us His Word to reveal Himself to us and the love that He has shown us in Christ Jesus, and then to move us along the journey of being more like Christ. That's why Paul tells Timothy that the Word of God is good to be trained in righteousness, like an athlete is trained to develop their physical strength, uh, like someone trains themselves mentally uh, to gain greater knowledge in some discipline they're a part of. The Word of God is trying to train us into being more of a righteousness of God. In other words, to be more like our Savior. The question is, not does God's Word have the ability to do that, because it certainly does. The question is whether or not in my life, in your life, whether or not we open ourselves up to say, God, we want your Word to change us. James has an interesting way of saying in the New Testament. He says that the Word of God is like a mirror. You look at it and you see yourself. How many times have we been uh, together studying God's Word, maybe in a sermon, maybe in a small group, maybe in our own personal quiet time, and we read a story and we start thinking about it, and then that little bit of uncomfortableness gets inside of us because the Word of God is like a clear mirror showing us what's lacking in us. James says, do we look into the mirror, see what's wrong, see our need, and then walk away and do nothing? Or do we look into the perfect law of liberty and allow it to shape us and make us into more of who Christ wants us to be? For God has given us his word to make us more like Christ Jesus every single day. So here's the big question I've got to ask in my life. The question I would encourage you to ask every day. Am I moving more down the road of being like Christ? Am I moving more in the direction of the life that Christ would want me to live and that Christ would want me to be? I pray that the Word of God doesn't just impart knowledge into your life, but I pray that the Word of God shapes our lives into the image of Jesus Christ. Have an awesome week. May God bless you, and we'll see you next week. My
Be. Mm-hmm. 